my dear brothers and sisters these days from yesterday we were listening to watching listening and watching what was happening and what is happening in ukraine and russia until now all the people in ukraine in ukrainian people were working hard there for their daily life they were not much bothered about what was happening around because they have to live they used to go to work they work hard they get some salary and take care of their children and they are trying to uh, have their own house their own family their own worth wealth and everything but now these days you was you were able to see they have to leave behind everything and go flee from their own country they had to flee from their hometown they had to flee from their beloved places and even separation from their beloved family members it was so painful to see such videos and scenes through media and sometimes we may ask god where are you why can't you protect these people why can't you stop such situations remember one thing is very easy to just call out the name of god and say lord where are you when the innocent people suffer but at the same time the pain that you are going through and i'm going through more than all these things our lord jesus is going through he feels with those people who are suffering he feels with those who are struggling then you may ask me father then why can't god stop it why can't jesus stop it my dear brothers and sisters that is because we ask such questions because we do not know how god because we are not aware of the truth and reality that how god controls this world god has created this world that is true and god has created human beings that is true but after that god entrusted the whole human the whole world into the custody of human beings now we have god has given us full freedom to do whatever we want to do the right and wrong we have the full freedom but at the same time he said do only good do be obedient you can eat from all the trees but don't eat from this tree so what does it mean god knows god could have created human beings in such a way that god human beings cannot do evil they are only allowed to do what is dictated to them then we cannot call human beings as free human beings but we can only call human beings as robots created by god but we are not robots created by god but we are free human beings with full freedom because he loves us he knows us and he trusted us but we start misusing this freedom we start bringing all kinds of calamity and tragedies into this world and god is trying to rectify whatever that we are messing up now what god is doing in this world is he is rectifying everything we committed sin and we are supposed to be punished so god rectified it how jesus came down and he died for us on behalf of us and he he to call the punishment and he rectified now god is going on rectifying all whatever that we are messing up and i'm sure whatever that we human beings are messing up jesus will surely rectify it what putin from russia is messing up our lord jesus will turn into turn, turn all those things into blessings and he will rectify it and we are misusing the freedom god has given us we are we are cheating him for trusting in us and that is our mistake we have to correct it let's read this word of god gospel of luke chapter 13 verse 4 onwards 
or those 18 okay let's read from verse 3 onwards okay let's read from verse 2 onwards he asked them do you think that because these galileans suffered in this way they were worse sinners than all other galileans because there were galileans who died in a calamity so jesus said do you think that because these galileans suffered in this way they were worse sinners than all other galileans is it because they are sinners they were, they were perished they were killed then he says no i tell you they are not sinners not because they are sinners not because they have committed something wrong they went through this calamity but he says but unless you repent you will all perish as they did my dear brothers and sisters there is a lack of repentance in this world because of the lack of repentance there is calamities tragedies and disaster and war taking place and many innocent suffer from this verse 4 we read like this or those 18 who were killed when the tower of siloam fell on them do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living in jerusalem verse 5 no i tell you but unless you repent you will all perish just as they did the lord is telling us to repent the lord is telling all the leaders all the leaders and kings and presidents and prime ministers of the countries to repent do not be selfish and self-centered and do not be greedy and do not be invaders because we need to repent if we don't repent we will perish as well as many innocents will perish from our from the wickedness that we have but god can turn into good how is it possible god will turn everything into good by taking them to eternal life may not be those people who are responsible for the crime but those who are victims of the crime they will be taken into the eternal life which is considered as in christianity and the bible the protection of god my dear brothers and sisters do not worry we all will live here on and live in this world only for 70 or 80 or or some years but one thing is sure there is a life after death which we believe and confess and profess and this life after death that is the biggest blessing the lord has prepared for us and that is what we call the protection the eternal life and which is guaranteed to those people who love jesus and believe in him and obey him and follow him and die in him